What's up, jammers? We're gonna pretend like we haven't been working. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, you have not been working. I haven't. I've been gallivanting <laughs> around town. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, it's we a- wanted to tell you guys this video is sponsored by Mars. They're out of Ohio. They do crates, uh, pallets. Uh, they can send off your harness and uh, do pass delete on your truck for you. If you have a whole truck like we did, they hooked us up. They did a solid for us. Yes. So reach out to them. Again, yeah. highly recommend them. Thank you guys over at Mars for hooking us up, for taking yeah. care of us. Hey, we'll put a link to their website down below in the description. It'll also be on our social media this week. So uh, they're definitely worth reaching out to and talking to. But what are we doing today, Ryan? Uh, Jason's gonna work and I'm gonna leave. <laughs> no, we're gonna then go get me some lunch. <laughs> we did. We're gonna hopefully get this front clip lined up and kind of set in place. Yeah. And then start wiring in the factory truck harness. And then maybe if we have time, wire in the motor control unit, all that harness. That'd be awesome. So that's the hope, guys. So stay Man, tuned. We're literally weeks away from starting this, so. Or years. Well, we're hoping for weeks, maybe days. Let's start counting in days. Years. Yeah, yeah, let's start counting in days. 796 <laughs> days. All right, from let's today. do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Thunder! We are getting to work this week. We are going to try to get an entire wiring harness out of the white truck and into the green truck. Check it out, everybody. We have our core support right here that holds the radiators. We're going to pull that out. We're going to paint that black. Uh, we have this whole entire wiring harness right here. That's going to come off the front. It's going to get all disassembled today. Uh, the lights are going to come off. We actually are going to purchase, I believe, projection lights for the front of this truck. So we're gonna order those pretty soon and uh, also figure out what to do with all this. I don't know if we're gonna peel that off or looks like somebody tried to paint over it before. Here we go. Folks, recap and tell. Recap, go, go. So uh, we went ahead and we're gonna paint. Well, we not we're going to. We already did. We painted the whole entire core support, and then we did the inside of each fender. We were talking about the firewalls already painted black. We thought, hey, just we'll just pull the black around the whole inside there. I think it's gonna look awesome. Agreed. So uh, I think the next step is we're gonna get some lunch. We're gonna let this dry. 
We're gonna come back and then we're gonna hopefully start assembling and then get our wiring harness moving to where it needs to go. So, sweet, sweet, it's sweet. coming together. It's gonna be a good day. Hi guys, well we have some added help now, oh, what's yeah, going so on? This is Jason, he's going to be replacing Jason, oh. so that way we're keeping the JMR. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, hey, I found out this way. I've been, Sorry. Thank you, I appreciate it, I've You're been trying. to get the letter in the mail. Yeah, did that not come through? <laughs> <laughs> I have my people get with you. <laughs> no, this is Jason from 256 Garage, guys, check him out on the YouTube, type in 256 Garage. They got a legit high rod shop, these guys are real, we're pretenders. <laughs> they got an amazing comment build they're doing, tons of other I mean. stuff. So go ahead and go over there, subscribe to their channels. Yeah, well, we'll stick a link uh, yes. to their page or to their channel down the below. Too. Well, what do, what do we got going on then? So now we just got the front clip back together mostly. Um, so we're going to try to set it up on there and then bring all over the white harness and run it through and see where we're at. Cool. Uh, let's do it. Look at it! Look at it! Oh my gosh, just look at it! Check it out! Does this look like it's from the 95 F-150? No, because it's not! That's for you, big old daddy. He loves it when you're loud. He loves it when I'm loud. You should uh -huh. do an entire episode. Hey! Whispering is what I was thinking, yeah, not I'll, screaming at I don't at think my I've life. ever whispered in my life. I don't think you ever have either. But anyway, you got a little, uh, what is this, body control module here? Yeah, this is our BCM. This is the one with the patch delete? Yes. And uh, this is where everything basically plugs into. Uh -huh. And then what we else, so what we did is we sent this to Mars with our whole, we sent it with our all of our body harness, our OBD port, our throttle pedal, this, and they took it all, they cut it all down, made us a hot rod harness that allows us to basically run this motor off of its own. And pass delete this. Uh, pass delete is the uh, the security stuff for the passive, key, right? Passive anti-theft. Look at this. Well, that looks like a mess. Oh wait, no, it's not all the stuff underneath it. It's only this part. This is it. And Two. it's a two-fold harness, so you can pass it through the firewall. Oh, that's awesome. Because this obviously is your OBD port, and that's got to go inside. You would want that inside the uh -huh, cab. Right. So uh, this will go inside, and then this will pass through to it. Awesome. So this and is going to... And this plugs in to our last remaining... Now, why don't you plug the first one in? Jimmy. We're on our way to greatness. And all we got to do now is just go turn the key, and it'll start. It will, right? Right up. Boom. We don't yeah. need fuel. We don't need electric. We don't even need battery. It'll start. We're getting there. YouTube world. Ryan. What's up, Jammer Nation? Bro, we got lots of wires and we have leftover plugs. It's kind of like when you do a project and you end up with all these leftover. Except for it's wires. Nuts and bolts, <laughs> you always have extra nuts and bolts, but wires, you don't want extra ones of them because them catch a fire. All right, well, we're going to take a little break on this and yeah. uh, do a little bit of research and then we're going to come back. Yeah. Yeah. All right, day two. Well, or five. Hundred. And you guys may be asking yourselves. Mm. What is that doing up there? Well, nobody can even see what you're talking about, but now they can. You guys what should is... have caught this. Yeah, you what... guys are all smarter than us. You are the OBS legends, and yet no one caught it. What are we looking at, Ryan? Well, the white truck is a manual drive truck. Yes. And the green truck is a... 
It's an automatic. And the new truck's gonna be a... Automatic also. And so, this truck has an extra lever right there. What does that do, I wonder? <laughs> and one less pedal. Ah. Mm, so what's the plan, Ryan? So the plan is to remove this column, take the okay. components off that we need, and then yeah. in, put them back into the one that's completely finished already. All right, well, let's get to it, buddy. Yeah, good stuff. So we actually need this shroud because this shroud is part of the uh, automatic transmission, but not part of it, but it's part of the steering column and we need it. So to do that, you gotta put the key in, you gotta rotate the cylinder to a point and you gotta pull, and there's a little teeth that you gotta get, and then it pulls out. Right there is the piece I'm looking at. And so- So are you, are you pushing in on that? Yeah, I'm pushing down on this as it rotates and pulls out. Got it. And that's the lock cylinder. Nice. So that means the shroud should probably come off, right? Well, the we thing got was... the gear shifter in the way still. Okay. It should, that should slide up the, sh the gear yep. shifter now. Yep. Theoretically. Sure. There we there go. There it goes. Nice. So, not to point this out, yep. but this is one of the few moments that you've taken something like this off and not broken it. I wanted to break it. Congratulations. I wanted to break it. I literally <laughs> said you need it. Congratulations. Everybody, if you want to take a look at this, this is the plan. This is our new gauge cluster right here. As you can see, it doesn't have as many items as the old one does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move, we're gonna keep the speedometer, we're gonna move these over, and we're gonna move our tack over. Here we go. <laughs> Well, we You're basically a bench tech now. I'm a bench tech. Actually, that's what I would prefer to do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I uh, went through this uh, gauge cluster. We wanted to keep the speedometer. That was one of the big things is because it had really low miles on this one, which is what? 96,000. Uh -huh. And then our engine has 80? 88. 88. So that's the closest to our engine, mm -hmm. uh, whereas the other one had... Uh, 230 something. 230. So we didn't want that same thing to say 230. <laughs> so anyway, that was more accurate. So we uh, and it was broken. It was uh, you couldn't actually anyway. see that. Well, you couldn't actually see the, the odometer reading. Yeah. 
It wasn't very clear. Yeah. Well, we took it all apart, as you guys saw. We cleaned everything up. Uh, we actually had to move the gear selector uh, over. You can see it moving right there. So. We, and we had to do this. Remember, we didn't have that. Right. Well, we didn't have a tack, and we didn't have some of these gauges over here. I think, obviously, we had fuel, and I think we had water temp, but I don't think we had oil temp. And I can't remember. Maybe they were oh, over this here. Is battery. Sorry. Maybe they were over here. Yeah, I think we only had two, and now we have four of these. So anyway. The good news is we have all that. The bad news is we gotta wire it all up. Man, what else are we getting for that? <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a new lens, so that'll make it nice and clean. Because when you pull the lens off, it doesn't have any scratches, it looks really, really nice. And yeah, got. yeah. And on the back side of here, it's kind of cool. Uh, all these are the light bulbs. And uh, just so you know, they just twist out like this, pretty easy. And Ryan ordered LED light bulbs that are gonna go in there. Cool. <laughs> so anyway, we got that done. That was one thing we finished up yesterday. What else did we finish? Uh, the, the asteroid. Tell them about the asteroid, Jason. Well, the asteroid, if you guys went on our community tab and you filled out the poll, about 20 some of you guys did, we asked you if you would rather see the results of the asteroid or if you would like us to wait and actually complete an episode. You wanted to see the asteroid. So, what we ended up doing is when we put the dash in, we forgot one little minor thing. <laughs> super minor. It's, super minor. It's not that big of a deal. The dashboard came out of the white truck. The white truck was a manual four speed. <laughs> so it had a clutch, right? Ah. No, no uh, gear selector. You did. And no selector on the side, right here, guys. This guy. Right? So, kind of. Ryan tells me they're important pieces for an automatic. <laughs> So uh, we have to change out this whole entire steering column and put the steering column from the green truck. We're probably going to put the steering wheel from the white truck on here mm -hmm. and then we got to change it out here. But then the, the big question mark right now is how much of the wiring mm -hmm. has to go with it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we think we might have to take all this bundle of wires right here out of this and put them into our dash in order to make this work. Those of you guys that have done this stuff on the OBSs, let us know. We could really use your guys' help, feedback on this. How much of that has to move over? The question is, from the, the question that I have is, from the factory, mm -hmm. is the wiring harness different for a manual than with an automatic? That's the question. Are they two different wiring harnesses? Or are they kind of redundant? Mm -hmm. They include both of them in one right. harness, and if that's the case, then it's just plug and play for us. Which we thought that until we took the gauges apart. Yeah, we did find one extra plug. Yeah. Uh, must be somewhere else, but we did find one extra plug. And one extra plug, who needs it? <laughs> and uh, we'll just cut it off. So again, thanks guys, let us know. This is why um, we, this really set us back on time again. It's not a big deal. It is only a big deal if you want an automatic truck. Right. Um, and this kind of delayed this week's episode because we were hoping by the end of this week's episode to kind of maybe turn this sucker over. Cause yeah. as you can see, we're sorting out electrical. We're and, getting really close to that too. And it just didn't work because yeah. we realized that in our haste, we miss this. Again, that, it happens all the time, guys. Yep. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching today. If you could help us out by subscribing, liking, commenting, join our Patreon, that would be really helpful for us. Watch complete episodes. All those things help our channel to grow. So thank you. And on that note, we'll see you next time. Never listen! <laughs>